Hey Taurus, so today we're going to go ahead and look at your new love reading. This is for those of you who are single, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. And we're going to take a look and see who is this new person that's coming into your life, who is your next love, next encounter. So we're going to get some details on how you'll know who this person is, who they are, what this connection will be like between the two of you and any other details that need to come up here today. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. And I just saw the Eight of Wands here, uh, Judgment too. It actually feels very beautiful. So some of you could be very highly connected right now to, you know, your spiritual gifts maybe, to just like intuition, to knowing what's coming, what's around the corner. Um, this could also be something, there's something about this which feels like it's calling you or you're going to have a calling for something. You could even be attracting something or someone to you right now with kind of this frequency energy. And I think I tried to film a reading the other day and it just, I had a distractions outside so I couldn't do it. And I think I had seen dolphins there too. So there could be something with dolphins um, coming through. Okay, so let's get the cards out now. What do you want to talk about, Spirit? What are the cards that we, or what are the energies that you would like to bring through? Okay, we have the Ace of Cups. So kind of like water too, dolphins. The Tower. Yeah, there's some of you could be going through a tower moment right now, and this could manifest in different ways. It could be some type of sudden kind of awakening you're going through. Um, I'm here, I'm seeing somebody putting a puzzle piece together, and I'm hearing the, the rocks are falling together or the, the chips are falling together. So whatever this is for you exactly, there is something to where your guides here want you to know if you align to this reading that there's actually something very magical happening. It feels very... Again, like a beautiful kind of opening of the heart. It feels like something where I'm hearing you will see soon. You know, again, it kind of connects to me to this victory in some endeavor, the temporary situation. Um, I'm not sure what this tower is exactly, but it just feels like there's kind of a sense here of, of yeah, whatever you are going through right now is not the time to kind of worry or to react or to even take any kind of bold action necessarily, because it feels like there's something that's kind of um, cracking open here with the Ace of Cups. Let's see. There's a lot of downloads coming up, so I might kind of jump around before I can really get into this energy because I'm getting so many things. Um, I'm also being told, and yeah, the star comes right after the tower. I'm being shown like a lot of sage sticks and things like that and Palo Santo. So that could be a good thing to do if you want to sage your home or sage your space. But it's also like with this volcano too, there's something to where there's just a, a huge clearing happening for somebody here. There's a huge cleansing happening. And it actually, I'm being told it's on a very vast level. It could even be connected to people who you are connected to. So maybe divine counterparts. It could be people just around you, just in the collective in general with these two major cards and how they come right after the other. Um, there's definitely a strong shift right now in the collective. And so just know that there's a What's the right word for it? It's just something to where it's like that initial tower moment can feel difficult or challenging or could even feel very uncomfortable, but it's almost like a huge sage stick in your whole world right now, if that makes sense, where everything is being saged within yourself, within your environment, within relationships, people. Um, and so what it's doing kind of is it's clearing out for this Ace of Cups energy to come through. So it also kind of makes sense to me too with the dolphin reference with the star because I do feel for a lot of you there's something on like a very spiritual scale here happening. This could even be your star family coming through. Something where um, it's a larger picture at play right now. There's something that's happening on a larger scale where it's hard to kind of condense it here into this small reading because it feels like a very big thing and with these two major cards as well. But it just, 
Spirit's kind of simplifying it to say that again, whatever this is, victory is about to show itself in your life. And um, if you have been thinking that this is, you know, some kind of something's going wrong currently, or you just feel like there's a temporary situation that you have to kind of move through right now, um, they just want somebody to know that there will be victory. And it's going to be very relieving and kind of emotional, like a huge emotional clearing happening here. And here's the whale and the high priestess. So kind of like I was saying with the dolphin, definitely, and I chose this deck here. I haven't used it in a long time, but it, it makes sense here with the water and the star. Something here about maybe, you know, again, star seed energy. Um, tell us more, Spirit, about this message here today that you want to talk about for whoever this is for. Okay, we have the Hermit, the Ten of Pentacles, and we have here the Eight of Swords, and at the bottom we have the Ten of Cups. I'm hearing huge upgrade. Yeah, so a lot of you right now, if this reading is for you, you are moving through a huge upgrade, as I was saying. And I do feel like with the Ten of Pentacles here, I mean, with the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles, um, there's something within you that you need to know at the moment, especially if you do feel, again, there's some kind of level of uncomfortability or confusion maybe about what you're moving through or just happening on a level that you may not even know. But what this is that's happening is that everything in your life is kind of upgrading and there could even be something very specific connected to like, something about the physical world your abundance it could be money career as well there's something which i feel is upgrading and so when we go through upgrades and spiritual kind of ascensions and um all of that of course it's going to cause everything or some things to fall apart kind of in our life or to rearrange themselves so some of you could be getting a little bit in your mind here with the hermit and the eight of swords that um it's like and that's why they said no it makes sense too why they mentioned to let things air out so whether this is something specific of a tower moment for you in your environment something difficult you've been through or it's just something emotional or spiritual or physical that you're going through to where you do feel that you need more time to maybe withdraw you feel like you're kind of going through maybe this um hermit mode this this kind of clearing of your energy then you are doing the right thing by maybe taking extra time for yourself because what's about to it's like kind of a portal that we walk through or it's like a chamber kind of you know it's almost like somebody walking into a crystal cave and you have to kind of sit in that cave for maybe like i don't know a couple of days a couple of weeks maybe even a month or something and then when you emerge from that cave it's like your whole world is kind of upgraded a few notches like a levels up um, so it's very much of that, of like what's happening right now collectively is that we are all going through like this big, again, ascension here. And this, this spans for other people connected to as well. So if other people are going through something and you see that or you just feel that, that is a confirmation that those people are also going through this. Um, and again, I keep getting like such a like star seed type of energy here like a very high vibrational feeling of certain guides coming through in the reading something about the fish here now too i mean we are again in pisces season so there's a lot of very spiritual activations happening at this time for whoever aligns with this reading um, and that's something that you need to know and i'm getting to a specific message about disconnecting from social media or disconnecting from external things you know if, especially if you feel like too clouded with that or if you feel like there's too many things in your ear um, or too many things you're absorbing that's something coming through as well to disconnect maybe for a little bit from social media and external things and I'm also getting this strong sense here of a lot of truths kind of that are exposed. I'm hearing something like the cats are coming out of the bag or the cat is out of the bag, but it feels like, again, it's on a big level. Like it's not just one thing or one area of your life or one person. I mean, yes, it could be connected to somebody or something around you too, but it, there's just a deeper level to this or something where I don't even know, again, how to put this into words. It's something that is just like, you know, again, these two cards keep sticking out at me, the tower and the star, because 
you know, when we go through tower moments or when our environment has, you know, these tower moments, it does cause a lot of chaos or things to be exposed, things to fall apart, endings to take place, um, massive changes around us, within us, realizations, shifting belief systems, all types of things happen. And so with the star, though, it's like restoring peace with this. Um, so whatever kind of temporary chaos could be happening or even would be incoming um, as always i'm going to get some specifics here in a little bit but there could be something that's um happening here or exposed maybe or exposing around you which i feel this is all happening to kind of prepare for a flush out or a cleanse here let me get some more cards though let's see what else we have and then i will get some more of the specific messages but let's see Wow, so beneath that we have the star seed. I didn't even see that, but yeah, this is a reading for a lot of you who are star seeds. Um, if you aligned with this and you you know feel that this resonates with you, again, the, the fact that I chose this deck here too, um, it feels, and it does say here too, disconnect from society. So find what's important with the hermit. And like I was saying too, I do kind of feel like this also could be someone else around you going through this. And you could even mirror this so you're both going through it. But I do feel like... Um, and I put that card there without knowing on top of the star. Yeah, so, and this is kind of in between the Hermit and the Ten of Pentacles, which is telling me that there's a, in, in the physical world within your body and kind of just your day to day, this is where you and people around you may be reflecting on what's important right now, spending more time alone, maybe with self, maybe even, it could even be I'm getting like on a more practical sense, it could be breakups happening, it could be, um, endings taking place again a lot of endings or like changes within yourself within the people around you people that you're very connected to as well possibly and so yeah i'm hearing the name erica let's see what else i'm hearing uh, i just saw the intuition card and i just heard don't second guess your intuition it was here somewhere it's not here anymore but don't dis count or um, second guess your intuition right now so some of you if you're watching this you may already feel a lot of this or it could be specific for you maybe you feel like there's some areas of this that you're picking up on or there's something around you that you're beginning to understand what's going on your intuition is very on point right now and it does feel very emotional with the five of cups and i think i posted this also the other day on my community tab that there's a lot of emotions that are going on so some of you if you're feeling very emotional or crying um, I'm hearing upside down, yeah, with the tower. So if this is not you, it could be someone else that's going through kind of an upside down of their world right now. You know, or again, just collectively. And so we pick that up, but there definitely is a lot of, um, I'm hearing, I'm seeing the justice card in my mind and I'm hearing there has been no mistake. There has been no mistakes. So... Yeah, it's, it's again, it's a powerful feeling and these readings lately have been very powerfully feeling because it's like this accumulation of things here and now we've reached the tower and the star and it's just something where, I don't know, it's like everything has rearranged or things are rearranging to the point of like nothing was a mistake. So just know that whatever this is specifically for you, whatever you've lost or whatever, even the people around you, what happened with those situations or what you know this the string of events that happen for for years or just whatever those, those things are there has been no mistake and that's why this has come up here too with the temporary and the victory and some endeavor so just i guess know that your emotions are valid right now whatever you're feeling emotionally is for a reason and um yeah I did post about the heart chakra too. There's a strong feeling of a tug around. We have four, four. So four could also be a synchronicity too, but there's a strong feeling around the heart chakra. And um, for some of you, this is actually going to be in regards to, or in, um, I can't think of the word, in, in reference to, or that's not the word either. Here we have another four, 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 um, about the home life. You know, and like I was saying, a time to rest, to rejuvenate, to go within. But some of you could be having either new connections blossoming or there's something involving kind of, again, reevaluating what's important. People doing that right now. And 
it just feels like there's this huge surrender kind of going on. Let me get a few more of these here. What else? And you may want to look up the angel number 444. Those could have an additional meaning for this reading. Yeah, I am being shown a specific message. And again, for this reading, it's not clear if it's you or someone else for this reading. But I'm being shown um, an ending of a relationship or like a breakup that has happened for somebody. And... And there's something here involving... Well, let me get a few more cards. Tell me a little bit more, Spirit, about this. We have the throat chakra now. What else do you want to talk about here today? Another four. Wow. We have four, 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 four. Is there any other fours? Yeah. And then we have here sacrifice and we have shadow, which is the moon and the hanged man. And here again, we have solitude. This is the hermit twice. And I'm, I'm being shown somebody sitting in kind of this meditation and I'm being shown a lot of like spirits around you or around somebody. I'll say somebody for this reading um, because it feels like there's little like nudges or little contacts being made spiritually for someone right now. Like there's almost little, um, not little really, but it's just like spirits around whoever this is that's meditating, spending time within. Um, so you may want to spend some extra time right now um, in meditation or taking some time throughout the day to go within because there's some kind of insight that is being gained right now. A lot of like, there's a strong message about this. I'm being told like there's a lot of, there's some kind of key information that you're finding or that someone here is finding when they're spending time alone. And it's almost like that key piece of information really needs to be heard right now. And it's something which is very sacred and special for someone's path forward. Like, it holds some kind of solution or key to what you know we're going through, what we want, what is important to us. Um, it's just, it's really kind of like, like I was saying, they're bringing me back to that cave reference of like a pit stop almost. Like we're, we've been on this journey and then, you know, we kind of have to, to go in this pit stop in this healing chamber or cave and spend some time there alone and really kind of, you know, take notes even or meditate and go within so that we can come out of that cave in this new person here with the rainbow twice we have here too. So there's just a lot of different insights, I guess you can say, that are being gained here collectively for people, for you, um, about the nature of self, the nature of the relationships around us. Um, and it feels like this is a very significant portal at this time in the collective, a very, a very special kind of, I don't know, I just keep getting like significant uh, the Hermit, you know, we have a lot of major cards here. So whatever is currently happening and maybe for the next month or so, depending, this is going to be a very important time to, for truths to come through within self. Um, so I think I was saying truth before too, and here we have the throat chakra. So it's almost like truth that starts within self and then can be given outside, you know. So for example, maybe you're going to hear some truth from people. Maybe you are receiving truth about self and then communicating it outward whatever way you do that through work or through relationship um we'll get some more specifics but there's just something about that coming up where it just feels like that like um let's let's see let's keep going here and i just shuffled my um deck here which is the beyond mind oracle and we have what lights you up is your deepest soul's calling and sacred nudity let your imperfections have a voice so again the fact that we have the hermit here and the solitude and a lot of solo energy um i'm hearing juice fasting for somebody so i don't know if that resonates with you but maybe some kind of juice fast or just fasting in general you may even be drawn, I think I also posted that, but you may be drawn to eating more healthy foods right now, fruits, vegetables, something which can help to almost like lighten you up, but at the same time, yeah, mainly lighten you up to give, because when we fast, you know, it can kind of enhance our intuition or 
not be so heavy like a more active in the crown chakra in the third eye but anyway even if you don't go through a juice fast there's just something here i feel about there's just a deep sense of self here and if you have not had this happen yet this again could be coming in throughout pisces season i'm getting especially but it could be in the next month or two months or three months to where there's going to be a lot of self revelations and a lot of um a lot of things connecting to you know like this says here too what lights you up is your deepest soul's calling how to put it it's just like there's something again big shifting and, and big happening here when it comes to big epiphanies and realizations that are had about various things but there's most of what this is is about self and so when we heal within self and come to these realizations of self and the people around you as well then that gives way for something more grounded in the physical world to happen you know so someone who knows themselves and finds themselves and feels confident within self can then bring something stable in a relationship you know so it's that kind of shift that's happening where there's a lot of um stripping down to the core kind of of like who we are with the tower and the star and they're bringing back to that specific example where either you or someone around you may have gone through like a breakup it could be in other areas too but that's just something i am seeing or a, a similar type of circumstance where maybe we lose everything or we kind of um go through an ending or big breakup or something like that and then we kind of have to go back to the drawing board as to who are we really like maybe this this connection or this breakup or this ending or shift or this incoming big shift happening is going to strip us down to our core to reevaluate like who we are kind of and i feel somebody's been doing that or will be definitely going through that so it's just yeah it's a, it's a time to get serious kind of about self and to realize that endings will lead to new beginnings and it just seems like there's um this is even things that have been tucked away within self of who who again who am i really very deep I guess to be expected you know with pisces season it's a deep feeling here of going a, a deep within um who am i really and all of that um let's go into this deck here and thank you so much serena who gave me this deck or gifted this to me this is such a beautiful deck so thank you so much the sacred destiny oracle so i'm gonna debut it here and see what we have inner peace yeah what else do we have for the collective spirit? What do you want to talk about here? So now they bring me to this message about the throat chakra. And, you know, we'll kind of go more in the extended too. Because this could be a few things. But with, this, with the throat chakra, I'm seeing like a jumble of words. Almost like a scramble. Or like scrabble, you know, the game. But all of the words are completely jumbled together. And we have to kind of rearrange the words to make it a, an actual real word or sentence. So I feel like there could be either something to where there's someone who is struggling to communicate right now to you. They may want to be communicating with you. This also could be you, though. You know, um, it could be both, really. Because, again, I feel like there's a kind of overlapping um, feeling in this reading. But with the success, it does come down to how do we articulate this into success? You know, how do we either... How does this person going to be able to... Um, de-scramble kind of the words and make them into something that it's like how to put it like again when we go through the shift within self um, on an energetic level everything rearranges within us and then we have to go back to the drawing board to figure out how to translate that into the physical world so I feel like that's what somebody here is going through. Others of you, it's about your success in the physical world. So like I was saying, it could be something specific like how you use your voice in your work life or how you maybe you want to start something in your career or something you want to take action towards a goal. It's like you can kind of expect to go through a lot of inner changes like we've seen and then apply yourself moving forward in a more powerful position in a powerful way and you're in the process right now of getting to that point you know of using outward expression translating what's inside into the outside basically is what this is um and i'm being told that a lot of things that are coming in for you are going to be very 
different and new versions that you may have never seen before and i don't know yet if they're talking about maybe like a different version of a person than you've seen before but it's it's kind of like again the cave reference and here's the gateway kind of like yeah it's almost like a cave here too when you come out of this it's like the world looks different and the people in it are going to be different this could be for example like maybe you know let's say that you come out of this healing cave and then the people that you meet are like totally different than the people that you met before you entered the cave you know or possibly a version of a person that you're connected to and you are both different people when you emerge from the cave maybe the your world looks different you're in a new setting there's something like that to where there's a profound again gateway that's opened right now that has been here that some of you have already been going through um and i just feel like yeah i just feel like um and they're showing me the stomach and they're showing me it kind of twisting in knots so that could go back to the uncomfortable sensation or feeling around some of this with the tower possibly even uncomfortable feeling around communication um, or the desire to kind of use whatever these changes are and put them out you know outward that can kind of be a bit sort of like a twisty feeling because we don't know how to do that or how to fully yet kind of try out this new version of self but I don't know why I'm hearing follow the yellow brick road. I actually don't know what that means. Let me get a few of these and then I'm going to get some specifics. Let's see. And then we will go in the extended. Yeah, we'll just kind of go with this intuitively because this feels like a very intuitive flowing kind of reading. So I don't want to make it like put any kind of restriction on it really. I'm seeing 1111 again with the gateway. I don't know if we went through some kind of gateway um, or if there's something coming up. I'm not sure if it's like an eclipse or if it's some kind of significant day coming up. If there is, then um, let me know. But I feel like there's maybe there's something, but I'm just getting this. I don't know. It's like a sense of a certain day that is very transformative or some kind of like I don't know some kind of day here where all the energy accumulates at one time and it's like collectively like i'm seeing 11 11 1 1 1 something but if if not a certain day it's just that there's a lot of built up energy here which is in a positive sense but let's see what else for the collective here spirit do you want to talk about yes yeah, so we have the mermaid so like i was saying a lot of sea creatures coming up also pisces season we have enchantingly beautiful luring in your desires call to the ocean listen to your soul so some of you if you do live near the ocean you may want to actually spend this month a lot of time near the ocean or even just getting a lot of salt for your for the bathtub there's just something about the water that is very important right now and very much he healing method but i also feel like others of you like we've seen you know you definitely could be a star seed somebody who's very tapped into your intuition especially right now and i just feel like um Again, there's like a magic to this. I don't know what it is. There's like a magic, a depth to this. It's it's a feeling. And if you kind of know what I'm talking about, or if you're in this, then you would feel it. Or if you do have maybe even a lot of water placements yourself, you kind of know what this feels like. It's, it's like you can't really grasp it, but it's very, very deep and profound within self. And so that's something that you're moving through or that you will be shortly moving through. Um, most of you, you're already in this, but... Um, it's also with the success here too in the gateway it's some kind of again calling I don't know something that's going to be calling you or there's a lure to something there's a frequency sending something to you or or someone sending that to you as well um, beneath the mermaid we actually have the letter here oh I shuffled it again but the letter was beneath this so there could be something again about communication let's let's keep going here what else spirit for this message do you want to talk about what else what else do you want to talk about today we have the black panther and here's the black panther again so there's something with the black panther coming up and we have books So 
some of you, this actually could be quite literal. You might be learning something new. You could be going to school. This could be a really good time actually for reading certain self-help book, self -help books um, or something involving maybe some area of study or something you're called to. It's all about, I feel like this whole month too or right now is a just, it's such a profound feeling of like going with kind of the heart and soul, you know, like what is it that you're called to? What do you want to explore right now? What kinds of, um, like who is the true self, you know, under the core of it all? authentic self, the shadow, and again, I feel somebody else is going through this too, and it's a mirrored, because I was picking up on lately a lot of like counterpart twin flame connections too, and I will do an update on that soon, maybe this week, but with the four of wands here, it feels like there's a coming together too, so for those of you on the twin flame journey, there could even be something to where, you know, you're both kind of in the same energy or you're attracting some kind of really, with the flowers here too, I don't know, it's like you're attracting something that, and you're magnetizing this frequency together with something very important or significant or even a coming together. But it's all about like the soul's calling. This whole reading is about the soul's calling and the soul is not just, not just like soul's calling in terms of like mission or life purpose, but who makes us like who is calling to our souls um who are you calling with your soul um what exactly you know who am i and all these things are just i don't know very deep here but with the books it is kind of practical too some of you could just maybe spend some time reading books with the solitary someone could be doing this as well educating them, themselves on things um And there's a side note coming up here, which I believe I posted that reading, it probably is a couple weeks now ago, but there was a reading I posted about a cord cutting and I'm seeing that in my mind here. So this also may be a kind of result of some sort of cord cutting that you've done, or again, collectively, there's been a lot of inner work done. This is also things that will continue to be done. Whatever you're doing within self here, even going deeper within self, is going to dissolve certain like cords of attachment, you know, and you're getting pure with you, within yourself here, getting down to sort of the purity of self. Um, and so that could also be what's magnetizing and increasing your frequency, increasing your vibration with this mermaid here. But let me grab some specific cards. Okay, I'm also hearing too for some specific uh, people, you may have actually something very specific that you feel called to do or you're going to find maybe in the coming months or so that like let's say it's a certain idea you have and it's like that idea is coming to you because you've gone to the depths of yourself and you found maybe even for the first time kind of what you're here on this planet to do or just some kind of idea that you can kind of add to you know what you're doing or something along those lines to where there's a strong feeling of some specific new ideas that are going to be very successful in the physical world as well because you're moving more from your authentic truth And there are some messages here about love, but it, again, it's, it almost feels for this reading that it's it's like I'm looking at this reading from a bird's eye view and not so much on the details of it, if that makes sense. So I will go into love in the extended a little bit and we'll kind of extend on some things here. But let's get some of these um, specific cards to see, Spirit, if you can show us here what exactly uh, on a more specific level that you're talking about with this reading like things that are happening, things that are coming in. I'm also hearing manifestation. Some of you, this is a really great time to manifest things, especially with that um, energy I had seen with the Hermit of spending time in meditation. A lot of spiritual communication going on right now, and so it can help to enhance and to increase your ability to manifest things. Okay, so yeah, we have you are being guided to expand your horizons at this time and leave your comfort zones behind. Try to be open to new opportunities that will soon come your way. Yeah, so we've been seeing that definitely for a while. Um, and I feel like
yeah, let me see. We have, you will soon feel an energy that encourages, motivates, and inspires you to embark on a new project, which is a part of a dream and a goal of yours. Yeah, so that's what I was just saying here. Some of you specifically could have some dream or goal, um, and there may be some like really lucrative projects somehow coming in for you. It could also be that you have more time to pursue this with the heart chakra, something about that you have more time to take action on this, or there's there's actually going to be physical action with that, with the um, throat chakra. So people who reach out to you or some kind of opportunity which reaches out to you, like that card said, victory in some endeavor. You may face disruption within the current flow of life, but this shift is needed in order to clear out what no longer serves you. Uh, yeah, and obviously with the tower. And I just felt guided to look at the card on top for some reason of the tea leaf. And we have karma. You will reap what you have sown. So yeah, definitely going along with this. It feels like that's kind of what I was trying to explain, I think, in the beginning with the large energy or something with the star to where it is kind of... Um, a lot of deep kind of balancing here on a karmic level but yeah so you may need to go through this tower moment which is going to manifest differently for different people for a lot of you it feels internal but it's it could be triggered by something external as well and I'm just hearing leave the past in the past so especially if something has happened recently or if you find yourself kind of dwelling too much on something of the past or even who you were in the past it's just really about kind of letting that go now you know leaving the past in the past and when I'm looking at that four of wands uh, the foundations and achievement I just keep getting this very warm feeling of like good things coming and also a feeling of um, yeah some kind of stability coming in it feels it feels like a new foundation because the tower does talk about like a crumbling, you know, home or a crumbling house, not actually, but metaphorically. And so it's like you're rebuilding your life. And some of you, it's going to be in your finances, too. There's going to be a lot of financial improvement by the end of this year. And that could be something specific that you pursue even. And um, here, hearing... <clears throat> If you did, for example, like let's say that you were fired from a job or you quit a job and maybe you were initially a bit upset about it or you were um, not curious, but you were afraid of that, what you're going to see kind of is with the gateway here and this four of wands and financial situation improving is that that happened exactly for a reason, okay, because had you stayed in the same position that you were in, or the same maybe relationship to, you would kind of not had grown past the level that you were at. So with that card here too, it's, it's speaking to me about this very, you know, it's, it's almost like some kind of divine timing event with the star where you've always been meant for something bigger and better. And the universe has been watching kind of over this and has maybe almost assisted in this tower moment to happen, you know, for you because you hadn't realized or seen or even experienced your true potential and happiness elsewhere. So if that would never have happened again, you would have stayed in the same spot or the same location or the same job or the same relationship. So that's something coming through here too. You will soon connect with new individuals and receive recognition for your talents and abilities. You will soon meet someone new that is a part of your soul family. A deep friendship will form that will help you further evolve. Yeah, so I think I had said something about that. I can't remember now, but there was something I was getting about definitely with the love. Yeah, it's like when you emerge from that healing chamber, um, There's, it just feels like a whole new world. I think I said that in the last reading too, but it feels really... It feels like for this, it's it's about kind of the actual manifestations of the of the people around you, almost like a movie. You know, you you walk out and you see these new people that um, connect with you in a way that you never felt that you could connect with people like this. So it could be a friendship. It does say here a deep friendship. So it could be a friendship that turns into romance, or it could just be a platonic friendship. But we have two cards about that. You know, you will soon connect with new individuals. So 
Yeah. And they're drawing me to say too, like I was mentioning about, it could also be someone connected to you as well. It's almost like this is overlapping with people that you're highly connected to. For most, it's someone that's maybe like a counterpart, someone that's a part of, you know, you. It's like a, it's a deep soul bond. Those people could also be going through this to where they have maybe disruptions in their life where people that they thought they could trust or people that they were involved in or with for a while are no longer kind of resonating or suitable for them. So whether or not you reconnect with each other, I don't know from this reading. I'll go into a little bit more, but it just feels like it's mainly about how the universe is steering the course of connections and relationships and friendships and counterpart connections to like almost like if we were pawns, you know, and putting people in different places, like I'll put you here and then I'll put this new person next to you because I know that this new person could give you an opportunity for this job where I'll put this friendship here because I know that they would be a good match for you one day for romance. It's like there's pawns being kind of not in like a creepy way, but just like in a way or not in a controlling way, but just like in a way of like pawns are rearranging um, to allow certain connections that have always been meant to be a part of your life, whoever those people are, to kind of have the ability to manifest in your life now. Okay. We have a profound time of healing approaches. It may feel challenging, but you will come out stronger than before. An exciting opportunity will emerge for you in the near future in which you will connect with new people that will help you expand your social network. Yeah, and for those of you who could be work-related too, you may actually be connecting to like really the right people that are going to help you to build that business or help you to achieve some certain level of recognition or success. Um, maybe, yeah, something about the network, something about the people, the relationships, and it's connected to the heart chakra, you know, because you have become more kind of vulnerable and pure within self, or you're, you're definitely going to be going through this profound healing time in the month or two here, I feel, this starting now and then for the next month or two or so. And it's like, again, when you emerge from that, the way that you show up for yourself manifests in other people showing up for you, these new people. <clears throat> so we have just a few more here. You will soon gravitate towards your soul's purpose and intended path. Yeah, so this will depend. For some of you, you already know, you know what you're doing. You already have a certain path that you're walking. And if that's the case, you're just going to be increasing that, enhancing that, meeting new people along that path who are going to just, you know, resonate with you, maybe clients as well. Something to do with just, again, the rearranging of the people around you. All those of you could be finding out for the first time, maybe very soon, you know, having that idea come to you about what you want to pursue in this lifetime. And it's very supported, you know, by the universe. You will soon be met with a surprise from spirit as a reward for perseverance and dedication throughout your struggles. We have, you will endure a heavy mourning period after a loss, but you will overcome it within time. A challenging time for your mental health is ahead. Take time to pause, reflect, and conserve your energy. So that's what I said in the beginning, you know, with the tower, that's going to depend for many of you. But whatever that tower is, this is here too. So if it is something to where you, you know, I don't know, maybe you have to disconnect from somebody that you love. Maybe you have to end the relationship. Maybe, um, you know, something that's going to maybe even feel like a loss or feel kind of difficult. It could be a mourning time period, you know, it could be something like that. And it just feels like it could be challenging for a little bit with this here. But again, it's something that's had to happen for a reason it's almost like you've reached a certain dead end with something that you can no longer make something work regardless of how much you try to make it work so this is a lot of information here hopefully it's not too overwhelming but there's this, this spirit was talking really quick today so um let me see if there's anything else and then i will go to the extended and I'm going to be getting the tea leaf cards and the extended. I will get some of those manifestation cards. And then I will look at love just kind of separately because it's... Well, let me pull one card just to see if you kind of align to the love message anyway before, 
you know going to be extended because it's not coming up as like a main focus but i was getting something here with the love card that came up let me just see here is there anything that the viewers need to know about love and then we'll also just pull from different decks and just get some more information about this whole thing because again it doesn't feel like it wants to be pinned down to something too it just feels like it needs to flow Is there anything about love that the viewers need to know, Spirit, that maybe we will touch on in the extended to see if it's going to be for them or not? Anything you want to talk about when it comes to romance and love? Okay, we have sunglasses and we have ascending. So obviously, yes, you're ascending. Um, sunglasses. Let's see. What do we need to know about love here? At the bottom, we do have here love call. Healthy choice. Yeah, I was getting twin flame connection. Healthy choices, love call. It's probably connected to what I was saying in the beginning. For a lot of you, if you're not in a twin flame connection, then you may not resonate with the extended reading. But, I mean, you may, I don't know. But it seems like it's going to be about twin flame counterpart connections. And if you are on how you would kind of know if you're in that connection is because you would be feeling a lot of this ascension like you would be feeling very connected spiritually to self and you would probably intuitively telepathically be picking up on what your counterpart's going through um they could be wanting to talk with you again both of you are mirroring making healthier choices within self why do we have sunglasses here Because this person, I'm seeing a peacock and I'm being shown a strong masculine. So this is probably a divine masculine. They have been going through maybe some kind of ego death perhaps, or there's just something to where this person is. Definitely, they could be watching you. They could be trying to get information about you. But with this, it's not so much in a way that's like a, it's not like in a bad way or like a, like it says here, you know, gaslighting or something. It's yeah, stalking or what does that say? Yeah, gaslighting. It's not like that. It's more in a way to where this is a masculine who, again, is going through a profound change within himself. Um, if you want to reverse it, you can do that if it's feminine. But I'll just say masculine because it feels like that for me here in this reading for most of you. Um, he could be wanting to, you know, reach out because of this. So looking at you and admiring you, maybe feeling that there's a resonance with kind of the change that, you know, you're going through, that he is going through. Let me just pull a few more cards, though. What does the viewer need to know about love? I just got a vision of some kind of I heard special occasion or anniversary and here we have the ace of wands and the wheel of fortune three of swords is beneath that so yeah the end the healthy choices made maybe he has come out of something and he's making or I'm just gonna say they they've come out of something and making healthier choices but it feels like with this here this could be some kind of special occasion for some of you not for all of you others of you it's connected to the divine alignment I was getting of some kind of merging sort of of the two of you something to where the timelines are merging together um and i'm hearing that this stalking or not stalking but sunglasses is because energetically this person has been picking up on that frequency again that you've been emitting the frequency that connects the two of you at a soul level the dolphin frequency kind of feeling uh, which resonates to me with twin flame connections too so there's a feeling of the two of you kind of aligning with each other because of these profound changes within self that you've been both moving through simultaneously and there could be some kind of divinely orchestrated meeting or event for some or just um you know again kind of merging of this but this person could be very much looking for you looking at you hoping here with this connection wanting to maybe restore hope in this connection irreplaceable connection yeah and i am hearing for some of you this there has been a breakup for somebody so that may be specific but for some of you you'll know if that's for you or you'll feel that intuitively this person may have been through a breakup with somebody else um or some kind of big change in their life and they feel like they're growing kind of towards you 
they are feeling this connection to be irreplaceable and that is the mirrored connection of self to where they're discovering more about their true self and their heart chakra and kind of who they want sort of and then that's what you're doing so there could be this very irreplaceable connection here between you both um, any final message here about love and then i will if this kind of sounds like your story in love i will go into more deeply the person connected to you how they're feeling how they're thinking what they want to say as usual but we'll start with like the tea leaf cards and just any general messages that need to come up in the manifestation cards um is there anything else spirit about love that the viewer needs to know we have express and we have self yeah so yeah there's a lot of overwhelming emotions which is what we kind of had before too um Obviously, whoever is going through this, you and this person and or, um, it's a very deep time. So, it's, of course, it's going to be overwhelming. This is somebody who I feel wants to express the changes that they've been going through. They do want to express something, and with the piano here, I am getting that this could be through synchronicities too. You may be receiving certain signs, telepathy songs something to where there's an, a desire to express i think it says here to express his love yeah to express something to you um and it's something about the changes within self maybe even something about how the door was shut or how some door has been shut and how to kind of manage that and i feel like that's what i was saying this person this masculine for most feels a bit overwhelmed with all of these changes maybe with their desires to, to talk to you with the ascension process that's happening. Maybe they don't understand it, or maybe they're just beginning to really understand it. Um, and I, I'm hearing spirits say, yeah, they're watching you somewhere, or just energetically. I'm hearing spirits say something about waiting because of this certain time or event. So spirit could even be leaving things waiting at the moment um, because of the journey that the two of you are on and this connection being still unfinished but there's a certain it's like it's not over whatever this is it's not over and there's some time period again coming in that the universe has been watching as well to align the two of you at that certain time so for example this person could have gone through this big ending or this big shift but they also are not in the 100 percent position kind of to express and so the universe could be pushing them to continue to balance their emotions before they actually come forward which feels like it's kind of soon though it feels like it's a genuine you know genuine connection but they could be going through sinking in the sand with all of these deep changes going on um yeah a very deep genuine forever type of connection at least on a soul level and one it just feels very good to me this here beginning and dazzling like something about wanting to restart things or even just energetically you know we will see in the extended because sometimes with these twin flame connections there can be a lot of 5d energy um yes it can be 3d too because we have this but it also could be like a 5d union kind of feeling of you know you're one of these penguins you've come into union within yourself too and so there's definitely this strong new beginning feeling for everyone for both of you and it's calling somebody with the with the siren so see that mermaid it's like there's a call here there's some kind of lure luring so i think i'll leave it here though um and i will go now over to the extended i really do hope this reading could connect with whoever it's for um it felt very just um I don't know again it was kind of I hope it made sense sometimes I feel like I just ramble here and it felt like that one of those readings but I hope it could all make sense for you um, and if you did enjoy it please give it a thumbs up and comment down below and the link for the extended is, is also down below and I will talk to you all next time take care and lots of love